All right, so this is what we're going to be creating uh, in this little video. This is called a drop cap. So you take the first letter of the paragraph and um, you stylize it. Notice how large it is, but notice it. you have to fine tune and, and uh, just get, you know, work with like exact numbers, just changing little things around to get it spacing just right. Um, I chose these colors from, I think, Color Lover. Um, so the background color of the A is the same color as the text, and uh, it makes it look like you can kind of see through it uh, because the A is the same color as the background for the page. Anyways, we're going to do this very quickly, I think, hopefully. But this is something that um, it's a little bit more advanced. Uh, this is more, you know, design than just coding, and that's what web design is all about. It's the design part that is difficult. So. Um, I have um, in, um, oh, let me go back to here. I have in Atom, and I'm using Atom. You might be using Carrot. Um, I have a new document, and I've typed out um, all of the Guthrie-approved coding, and I saved it as a, an HTML file to start with, okay? Um, and we're always going to start from there. So um, if once you do that, if you want to, it's always good to um, go maybe save as, and then let me make a, a folder that says, um, I'll put my last name, if I can spell it, <laughs> something like that, okay, to hold it. And even though it's a template to start out with or whatever, um, I can change it to drop cap. Well, let me put, again, let me put my name. It's always good for grading. It makes it a lot easier for grading if you have your name on the file or the folder. All right, so there it is. It's all set to go. It's, it's changed. Now it's in a folder. If I had images, those images would go in that folder so they can find each other. Um, so let's start off. We are always going to start off between the body tags right here, and we're going to put all the HTML, anything between the body. As I always say, it's going to show up visually on your page from top to bottom left to right in sequential order and then we're going to take whatever we have down there and style it between the style tags but we always do this first okay so I have a uh, paragraph tag so I'm going to start with a P hit the space bar I mean hit the uh, return key a couple times and then close I always like to close off tags before I do anything just to make sure and then I'm going to put a, a paragraph of Latin text. Now, um, there is a, you know, that lipsum.com website. In Atom, if I press L, um, and because it's saved as a .html document, this comes up. I'm choosing Lorem. And notice it puts it in one line. Again, I can go over to View, Toggle Soft Wrap, and it wraps all the coding um, in, that, in this window. It doesn't allow it to go just one line really long because that's annoying. Okay, so I've got that, and that's all we're going to put on the um, on the page. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Maybe I didn't save it here. There it is. Okay, I didn't save it, so my bad. So that's that's what it looks like. And we're actually going to make it look like that. All right, so here we go. This is the all of this. So I'm going to talk to the P tag and the body tag. And the first thing I'm going to do is talk to the body tag. doesn't matter really what order you do, but I like to go from, from uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> the word body in the curly brackets. And we are going to start changing this. So the background color, and you can go with any kind of background color you want, but I'll put what I, I have here. So just uh, give me a second. So I've changed the background color, and I got this off of Color Lovers. And remember that with the hex number, you need that um, hashtag in front of it, number sign, hashtag, whatever you want to call it. Okay? Now, 
what I like to do is as I'm working, I'll keep changing. I mean, I'll keep checking. So I just want to make sure that my my CSS is working. And I'll, as I change things, I'll, I'll keep checking it. And then um, we're going to say padding. That's empty space around the body is zero. Margin is zero for the body. All right. And believe it or not, we're done with the body. Now, um, it hasn't really visually changed. The padding just takes away any kind of empty space. By default, there are 10 pixels on the corners of the web pages unless you put padding zero, uh, margin zero. And that gets rid of that default 10 pixel padding. Okay, now we're gonna, the big one is we're gonna talk to the P tag. So we're gonna say, hey computer, we have a paragraph tag down here and down there and that's what we wanna do. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called P first letter. So it's P colon first dash letter. Okay, right there. And that's only going to talk to the first letter of each paragraph. We only have one paragraph down there, but that's each paragraph. Okay, so um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do our float left. Okay, we're going to float the first letter left. And that's going to create empty space around it that we can mess with. And then the font size, we're going to use... Um, EM and EM is I think numerical measure um, and it basically one EM is whatever normal paragraph size is for a computer that's what it is one EM and we're going to do six times that and it's 6.26 EM okay and then we're going to do something called line height and this is going to I'm going to click here sorry and this is going to um, allow us to kind of vertically uh, change it, the spacing of it. So it's 0.75 EM. And then um, here's the big one, margin. And we're going to give it four numbers for the margin. So um, you can give one number and the computer will go, oh, it's one number. So it's, it's for everything around the thing will be the same number. We can give it two numbers, which the computer will go, oh, there's two numbers. So the first number will be for the top and the bottom. And the second number will be for the left and the right. But we're going to give it four specific numbers. And how it goes is the first number is for the top, second number is for the right, the third number is for the bottom, and the fourth number is for the left. So this is where it gets a little funky and you have to kind of play with it. So it's 0 0.06 EM in a space. That's for the top. And then 0.113 EM for the right. And then a space. And then here's the weird one. 0 0.006 EM for the bottom. And then zero, and I don't have to put EM for the left. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. And let me just kind of show you what where we're at here. Okay, so it's starting to come into play. We have the background color, we have a larger uh, uh, first letter of the paragraph. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, after the margin, we're going to do padding, and padding is empty space inside of an element. Margin is empty space outside of an element. So we're going to create 20 pixels on all sides uh, inside the L. It's, a, it's not the L exactly, but it's just outside the L, but it's still considered inside that element. I know it's weird, but you'll start to get a hang of it. I, I still get confused sometimes. All right, so we got that 20 pixels on either side. Now we're going to change the color of the text. Anytime you see the word color in CSS, it's changing the text color. So I'm going with something I grabbed from Color Lovers, and that's the same color as the background. Okay, so if I look at it now, 
which I will, you'll you'll you won't see the first letter <laughs> because it's the same color as the background. Okay, we're we're getting there. All right, so now I'm going to hit the return key. Notice I'm still working inside the uh, curly brackets. Now I'm going to do a border, and then I'm going to color that border with the background color eventually. So a border, again, I'm going to give it four separate numbers. That's for the top, and then hit the space. And then this is for the um, right. And for the bottom, and then 30px for the left. OK? All right, now, I'm using the letter A in my my, that's my first letter, and right now I have the, the letter L, so let's see how this thing lines up. We'll see. You know, with each letter, it takes different spacing, so it's kind of funky. But this is uh, some cool stuff to do. I thought you'd like to just kind of understand how it's done. And I'm going to do a solid uh, border line around it, and then I'm going to color the padding space and the border with the same color as the paragraph text. So 6A, 4B, 96. And uh, again, this is just for the first letter. So if I show you, yeah, OK? Not for the paragraph. Now, next, Rex, we talked to just this thing right here, just the first letter. Now we're going to talk to the whole paragraph and change that up, get that going. Okay, so we're done with the first letter. That's a lot of stuff. And now I'm going to say P, curly brackets, and this is going to talk to the overall paragraph except the first letter of the paragraph because we specifically designed it using this. Okay, so I'm going to put my cursor in between the curly brackets and... Uh, I'm going to say uh, font dash size 1.5 em, and that's going to change the size. And then we're going to say font dash family. And I'm, I, you know, with the word, I'm going to use a word. And Baskerville is a font that hopefully is on most of computers. <laughs> So we'll see. If it doesn't, it will default to another font. Color is going to be the same color as the background of the first letter. And that is 6A, huh, 4B, 96. Okay, and again, that's the text color. And then the width. I'm going to change the whole width instead of going, to, going all the way across our page. I'm going to use the percentage sign and say 60%. Okay? Now, since I use the width, I can use the margin, because I use the width, to put it in the middle. So I'm going to say margin. I'm going to give it two numbers. 50px is for the top and the bottom. And then the word auto is going to be for the left and the right. And this allows the computer to figure out how to place it in the middle there. So the computer helps me keep it in the middle. All right, and then um, we're going to align the, f the paragraph to what's called justify. OK, now let's check this out here. Ah, not bad. So again, I was using an A in the example, and I grabbed some Latin text that started with an L. But notice overall, it's pretty darn good. You have to, the, 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 the funny part is, when you're talking about talking the first letter, that margin, you know, that one margin was like 0 .006. And you just have to, again, fine tune to try to get it, you know, so the line is up right here and there's enough spacing here as there pretty much is here and this is in line with the paragraph you know it's just tweaking and fine-tuning his design so I just thought you'd um, you'd like maybe kind of understanding uh, how that works and you can bring that into your examples again all my 
video tutorials, if you do them just like me, are a three on a scale of one to four. I'm always asking you to do something more than what I did, just to experiment with CSS. CSS is everything in web design, and the more you just kind of, you know, do a search on the web uh, for CSS text, CSS paragraphs, CSS first letter, CSS backgrounds, CS, you know, whatever, if you put the word CSS before kind of what you want to do, um, somebody has done it, and they're going to show you example coding to make that happen. And you're going to start to learn more um, CSS than what I'm teaching you just in class. So I'm always asking you to go just a little bit further than what I did in the, in the video tutorials. All right. Thanks so much. Let me get out of here.